Hi everyone, I am Shirin from Sarah Maris College and the another author is Ms. Daji Bose who is the Assistant Professor of Stella Maris College. My topic is a study on COVID-19 detection using AI and DL techniques and it's important to treat, detect and reduce the transmission of this virus. So various AI and DL techniques have been developed in order to detect the infected person within short span of time. So this is the agenda of today's topic, objectives. The main purpose of this review paper is to review the AI and DL algorithms in detecting the COVID-19 patients based on the accuracy. And it is important to detect the COVID-19 patients in order to get the treatment immediately and to isolate the infected persons to avoid the community spread. AI and DL techniques have been immensely used in Medicare system for speedy and accurate diagnosis of various diseases. Upset. Coronavirus 2019 is the abbreviation of COVID-19, which is the most contagious disease caused by SARS-CoV virus. SARS-CoV-2 virus. Many variants of coronaviruses are exist in the world, among which seven variants are most dangerous to humans. And this is one of these dangerous viruses. The virus can be transmitted through the droplets from the mouth and nose, which can be settled down on the environment and causes transmission of those viruses. To prevent ourselves from being affected, everyone should strictly follow the COVID-19 protocol such as wearing masks, using sanitizers, being vaccinated, etc. RT-PCR test is considered to be the standard test method for diagnosing COVID-19. Though it has high accuracy, it also has limitations such as very limited number of test kits are available and it might take long time duration of 4 to 6 hours. So for this reason, various AI and DL algorithms have been used. Among all the AI and DL techniques that are going to be discussed in this presentation, this 2D curve transform and efficient B2 model provides 100% of accuracy. Introduction. To complete the work smarter and faster than human, AI-based algorithms are used. DL is the part of AI which provides predictive models which helps to classify the COVID-19 patients from a normal person. To enhance the accuracy, data pre-processing technique is done on the data sets. Transfer learning, which is the part of deep learning which is used by many models. Why? Because this transfer learning uses the pre-trained models, which can be applied to the related new problems, which reduces the model work of the model as it does not need to start from the scratch. Literature review. In the first paper, the author classifies the normal people from the COVID-19 people using a hybrid technique. Here they have used real raw test X-ray images which are taken as the data sets which have been synthesized using image processing techniques and then it is converted to the grayscale image using the RGB images. 2D curved transform is applied to each image and optimization is done using CSSA algorithm. Efficient net B0 deep learning model is used for classification and the evaluation is done using the confusion matrix. It provides the 100% accuracy in detecting the COVID-19 patients. In the second paper, the author proposed a deep learning based model that is n Cobden neural network model in which 142 images have been collected from the different sources. Data pre-processing and data augmentations are performed so that all the images are resized and rotated to get the same size of the image. VDD16 is used to extract the features and the proposed model has the threshold value of 0.5. The optimization is done using Adam Optimizer and the model detects the COVID-19 patients within 5 seconds with 97.62% of accuracy. In the third paper, the author uses SVM classifier. The data set has nearly 295 test X-ray images. Fuzzy color and stacking techniques have been used to remove the noise and to improve the quality of the image. MobileNet P2 and SqueezeNet are the pre-trained models which are used in this paper. SMO is the algorithm which is used for um, extracting the features. And SVM method is used to provide uh, is the method which is used in this paper which provides 100% of accuracy. In the fourth paper, the author proposed a transfer learning model. So the entire data set has to be pre-processed to get the better quality images. Histogram equalization is applied and the Weiner filter is used to remove the noises. Image cropping is done using ITK SNAP software 
to focus on particular area of interest. Various CNN models like VGG16, Resonate 50, Infection uh, V3 are used. Adam optimizer optimized randomly initialized weight and bias. Misclassification weight was calculated and compared for all these pre-trained models. Among all these models, VGG16 provides 93% accuracy. In the fifth paper, GSA DenseNet 121 hybrid model is used to diagnose COVID-19 patients with chest X-ray images which undergoes various data augmentation techniques to minimize overfitting and to maximize the generalization. DenseNet 121 is used to generate uh, is, a, is used as the training model which uses the extracted and the fine-tuned features. So the prediction is evaluated based on the confusion matrix and the proposed model provides 98.38% of accuracy. This GSA is used to generate the hyperparameters here. In the sixth paper, uh, the author compares six different deep learning and the hybrid models with the clinical data set. So this, um, all these six models were evaluated based on 10, 10 fold cross validation techniques. So the accuracy of uh, each model is compared among all these six CS CNN LSTM provides 92.3% of accuracy. In the seventh paper, the author compares 10 different CNN models. The data set has 1020 CT slides. The images were converted to grayscale image using RGB images and then cropped and resized. The 10 models are compared to choose the best one and transfer learning is used as to optimize the features among all these 10. ResNet 101 has higher accuracy of 99.51% and it also provides high sensitivity and low specificity. In the third, in the eighth paper, the author uses test X-ray images and all the images are set to same pixel images and then image normalization and data augmentation is done on the data set. The author uses transfer learning approach at this stage by using all these steps. Um, pre-trained models. To increase the performance, fine-tune the pre-trained models. The, performance, the model performance is evaluated among all the pre-trained models. The efficient at B0 has provided the highest accuracy of 96.8 percentage. In the ninth paper, the author pre prediction based on the state and union territories and it is done based on daily and the weekly basis. RNN based LSTM is used as a prediction model here. So there are three different uh, varieties of LSTM stats, convolutional, bidirectional. Hyperparameters tuning was done and ADAM optimizer was used for optimizing the MSC loss. Based on MAP, the per percentage error for all these three was obtained. The model with less error was considered to be the best model here. So here the bi-directional LSTM provides the error rate of 3.22 which is comparatively less than the other one. So this is uh, chosen as the best one here. In the 10th paper, more than 5,600 images are used in, uh, and it undergoes various data augmentation processes. Now the data is balanced and fine-tuned. GDCNN model is compared with other existing models, ResNet 18, ResNet 15, SqueezeNet, DenseNet 121, and VGG 16. Um, and the accuracy is evaluated. This accuracy is analyzed for 10 trials with 100 iteration, and the same is performed for all these models. The proposed model, that is GDCNN, has the highest accuracy of 98.84%. So, this is the review of all the 10 papers conclusion part to avoid the large number of deaths we have to control the COVID-19 by use by following all the COVID-19 protocols and it is essential to detect the COVID-19 patients to avoid community spread and to give them the proper treatment at the correct time. So various DL predictive models were made. Among all the models that have been analyzed in the survey, the hybrid deep learning 2D curvelet Transform CSSA efficient model provides 100% of accuracy which is comparatively good.
and the future work can be done using the large scale databases. So these are the references that I have taken. Thank you.